I'm from Region 1 Maruka and I'm a family member of persons who have tested positive for coronavirus. Before the first case was out, everything seemed normal, everyone was okay. We were going by our daily routine. Up until my one of my uncle had tested positive for the virus. Having a family member taken away from you is hard. But what is worse is the discrimination and the rejection that we got from persons in this village. We were treated differently. Persons don't know how it is. They don't know what it's like. Because we were the third family that got hit. But there was only one person who got infected by that time. Everything was doing fine until the rumors started spreading. Our names and gossips and everything that persons keep saying, the lies, everything just hit me. I'm a person who don't really speak out. We, my entire family, we always keep to ourselves. But it became more and more strong, stronger on us when my mom tested positive. My mom was the first teacher who made the headlines. But she was not the first teacher that was tested positive for the virus. It was something that hit me really hard because persons keep targeting my family. And it's, it was not something easy to deal with. Persons don't know how it, what it's like. A friend of mine only told me how it was for them. And at that time, I could not, I could only imagine how it was like. But I felt it all. I felt everything when my mom and my uncle tested positive. I felt everything. Discrimination, well, illness is not for one of us. My grandfather said to me, it's going to be okay, we're going to be okay, no need to worry. But having to spend Father's Day without persons that should be there with your family, having to sit and look at my grandfather cried like a child for his children. The stuff that we have been through is not an easy thing. And I just want persons out there to know that you need to learn the facts. You need to support each other in every way you can, however you can. Words matter. You don't know what a person is feeling inside. You don't know what words can do to a person. My fellow friends and family of Maruka, I'm pleading to you, please, Help each other. Help build each other. Help your if you if you have a friend who is positive, a family member, a neighbor, help them. Check on them. Call them. See that they're okay. 
stop with this discrimination again the infected persons the frontline workers the families and friends of the infected person we need to come together and help each other how are we going to make Maruka a better place if we keep discriminating each other this is a battle that we need to fight together please friends and family of Maruka I am pleading to you this is not an easy road help each other